द फायर सेफ्टी लीगल फ्रेमवर्क इन इंडिया हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी ब्रेकिंग डाउन द की कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इंडिया फायर सेफ्टी लीगल लैंडस्केप फ्रॉम द नेशनल बिल्डिंग कोड टू स्टेट स्पेसिफिक रेगुलेशन आई एस कोड एंड एवरीथिंग इन बिटवीन वी विल एक्सप्लोर वाई कंप्लाइंसेस मैटर्स द इम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ नॉन कंप्लाइंसेस एंड हाउ यू कैन नेविगेट दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स framework to ensure the safety of yourself and those around you whether you are a seasoned fire professionals or someone just starting to dip their toes into this critical field this video is for you so grab a pen take some notes and let's embark on this important journey together as we explore the legal framework for fire safety in india don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you never miss a update let's mark our world a safer place our spark at a time let's get started let's start this framework with first legal framework which is national building code the national building code of india is 2016 it has two volumes volume 1 and volume 2 The part 4 of National Building Code India 2016 is titled Fire and Life Safety. The NBC provides guidelines and standards for the design and construction of buildings including fire safety measures it covers aspects such as building material, fire resistance rating, means of egress, fire detection and fire suppression systems. What is National Building Code of India? The National Building Code of India, a thorough building code, is a national tool that offers standards for controlling the building construction operations nationwide. Is National Building Code of India mandatory? Yes, the National Building Code of India is mandatory. NBCI was once a voluntary code; later, it was included in municipal construction bylaws in the majority of states, making it obligatory and enforceable. The part covers the requirements of fire protection for the multi-storied building which is high-rise buildings and the buildings which are of 15 meter and above in the height of low occupancies of categories such as assembly institutional educational which are more than two storied and built up area exceeds 1000 square meter businesses where the plot area exceeds 500 square meter mercantile where aggregate covered area exceeds 750 square meter hotels hospitals nursing homes underground complexes industrial storages meeting banquet halls and hazardous occupancies the second legal framework is the fire services acts which are specific to states each state in india has its own fire service act which outlines regulations related to fire prevention fire safety standards for buildings licensing and regulations of fire service providers and penalties for non compliances various state specific fire safety rules and acts derive their foundation from the nbc in facing the importance of compliance at both national and regional level by and large the state fire protection and fire safety acts and rules complement the national building code the state fire service act is for the fire safety of the buildings this law is the state legislature that needs to be maintained by all the states it is an act to consolidate and amend the law relating to fire prevention and fire safety the examples of fire service acts and rules are following the maharashtra fire safety prevention and life safety measures act 2006 the delhi fire service act 2007 and rules 2010 the haryana fire safety service act 2009 the karnataka fire and emergency service act 1964 the tamil nadu fire and rescue services act 2003 the gujarat fire prevention and life cycle measures act 2013 this is the third legal framework which is national disaster management authority ngma guidelines by national disaster management authority stipulate fire safety requirements for public building including hospitals along with design guidelines relating to maintaining a minimum level of open space 
exit mechanism, states and evacuation drills. The fourth framework is Model Building by Laws 2003. Urban Model Building by Laws 2003, fire clearances is the responsibility of chief fire officer at each point. The concerned development authority must provide the building plans to the chief fire officer for clearance purposes. Municipal corporation or local governing bodies in urban area enforces building codes, issues permits and conducts inspection to ensure compliances with fire safety regulation within their jurisdiction. The fifth framework is BOCW rules. The building and other construction workers, regulation and employment and condition of service central rules 1998. The part three Safety and Health Safety Chapter 4 in General Provisions Rule Number 35 talks about fire protection, which emphasizes on sufficient fire extinguishing equipment and adequate water supply at ample pressure as per national standards. The number of trained personnel required to operate the fire extinguisher equipment. Fire extinguisher equipment is properly maintained and inspected at regular intervals of not the less than once in a year by the responsible person and record of such inspection is maintained. Provision of fire extinguisher in transport vehicle and lifting appliance cabin. The sixth framework is Factories Act 1948 and Rules. Factories Act 1998 and Rules for specific states. Amongst these, the Factories Act and State Factory Rules are important ones. Selection 38 of Section 38 of the Factories Act 1948 emphasizes the obligation of the occupier, which includes the example of state rules are Maharashtra Factories Rules 1963, Gujarat Factory Rules 1963, and Karnataka Factories Rules 1969. In elaboration, the sum of the requirements of factories rules pertaining to fire safety is to adopt all practicable measures to prevent the outbreak and spread of fire, to provide a safe means of access, to maintain the firefighting equipment properly and to familiarize all the workers with the means of escape during the fire and train them in steps to be taken in a fire accident. The section 37 of the Fire Act 1948 also prescribes the detailed measures to prevent explosion hazards. The state factories rules framed under the Factories Act have prescribed in detail all the steps to be taken to prevent fire hazards. The seventh framework relates to PESO. PESO stands for the Petroleum and Explosive Safety Organizations and its main role is to oversee the safe handling, storage and transportation of material that can catch, fire or explode. This regulates fire safety in industries where there is use of hazardous substances. The example of rules comes under PESO is Petroleum Act 1934, Petroleum Rules 2002. The next act which comes under PESO is Explosive Act and Rules. The Explosive Act and Rules are legal regulations that control how explosive and similar material are handled, stored and transported. The Explosive Act 1884 and Explosive Rules 2008 are the one of the example and comes under Explosive Act and Rules. Gas Cylinder Rules 2016 SMPV Rules 2016 which is Static and Mobile Pressure Vessel on fire rules 2015. The example of some act and rules comes under Explosive Act are Explosive Act 1884 and Explosive Rules 2008, Gas Cylinder Rule 2016, SMPV Rules 2016, which is Static and Mobile Pressure Vessel on fire rules 2015. The next eight framework is Electrical Act. 2003 and Electricity Rules 2005. Electrical rules also contain fire and safety requirements in order to prevent electrical fire related accidents. 
Central Electrical Authority Regulations 2010 and Central Electricity Authority Majors Related to Safety and Electrical Supply Regulation 2013. The ninth legal framework for fire safety is Environment Protection Act 1986. The Environment Protection Act 1986 which talks about environmental safety also gives guidelines regarding the fire safety because indirectly and directly fire accidents harm or pollute the environment as well. The tenth framework for fire safety is Chemical Accident Rules 1996. The Chemical Accident Rules 1996 are there for the industries that are related to any type of chemicals. They give ideas regarding emergency planning, preparedness and response in case of accidents, including fire accidents as well. In last of this video, I am going to give a list of IS code which are part of fire safety measures. You can find out the list of IS code in description of this video which you can find out in my description. Thanks for watching this video. If you really like the video, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. I'll see you in next video.